here at Thompson Guitars. I've been here for over four years now and um, in Sisters, Oregon. And uh, we're surrounded by um, the opportunity to be able to get out to some pristine rivers and uh, high cascade lakes for fishing. And um, uh, myself and, and Simon, we both uh, fly fish. It's part of our inspiration, isn't it, a little yeah. bit? And yeah. you know, quite often if we're not here in the shop, we're, we're out on the river. And if I couldn't get out on the river, then I probably wouldn't work here or vice versa, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, uh, it allows you to get, get a break, get some inspiration. And uh, you know, we, we enjoy the area and uh, we know this is going out to catch magazine fans and uh, yeah. <laughs> this is masterpiece number two, and uh, some of you may be familiar with masterpiece number one, which uh, we did last year, and it was a great success, and it got me thinking, yeah, we should do more of these and do some more high-end pieces that really show the craftsmanship here at Thompson and yeah offer something a little little bit different that you might not see in our usual range. Yeah I think it, it, it added to or just to add to that it kind of gave us as craftsmen the opportunity to be able to push our limits and our you know the boundaries of what we can do. And the idea is for them to all be quite different, quite unique, one of a kind. You're not going to... Yeah. And have the design concept, you know, the continuity of all these custom features to be harmonious throughout the entire guitar, not just, you know, highlighting a fretboard or a headstock, but really making a complete design concept but in keeping with the style of Thompson guitars mm. and the aesthetics that Preston liked. And... So this is, um, this is a 0014 fret short scale length um, guitar. Um, and this is a smaller body instrument. And uh, we went with a quilted maple back and sides. And the top is a bear claw Adirondack spruce top. Mm -hmm. The figure in that is extremely unusual. I, I've never seen anything like it. And, and it was chosen to enhance, not just for its sound, it's a good quality top, but to enhance the design feature. So that figure, when you catch it in the right light, it's almost like a breeze across the top of the water. It'll have that ripple to it. And it gives it that movement and life. And that all adds to this concept of water and, and motion. So yeah, this guitar has been at least a year in the making and quite a lot of design work beyond that too. But we took our time on it. We have some artwork on the back here, some koi fish that is actually stained into the maple. This is quilted maple. Over the past few years, I've been using wood as my canvas and using stains and tints to, uh, to put images into that wood, but still have the life of the wood there. So I'm, I don't like to cover up too much of the wood. So a lot of this is stained into the wood. It's not affected the wood in any way. It's, it's no thicker build. There's no inlay on it. So uh, it, it maintains its structural integrity and its sound is you know, the same. And then I wanted everything else to be rather subdued and a, a dark look uh, to really make those fish pop and to have the brass pop too. Mm. And really give that kind of murky, mysterious look about water. Um, I think there's a lot of relation that that we have to, to this instrument with with the idea of of the water and the movement and the fish um, that kind of make it up that um, definitely uh, strikes a chord with us. So.
binding on this is Brazilian rosewood binding. The fingerboard is bound with Brazilian rosewood. The heel cap is Brazilian rosewood, and as you can see, it's accompanied by a very elaborate brass uh, purfling. And the rosette is off of a 28 style uh, rosette that we that we do here. Waverly Relic open back tuning machines. It is a bone nut and saddle, uh, both unbleached, which kind of creates a little bit of a softer bone. And we did a pyramid drop-in bridge right here, ebony, and an ebony West African uh, fingerboard as well. As you can see, this fretboard has quite a lot going on on it. The two fish echoing the fish on the back, bringing a bit of continuity. But I definitely wanted to do a full, full fretboard, full design, which we hadn't done yet here at Thompson. The brass perf gives this movement, these swirling movements. Like the coloring on the body of the guitar, I also wanted the background beyond the fish to be more subdued. So I've used three different green recon stone to give that variance, but still a muted look. And then the lilies are a mixture of pink muscle. And then uh, the cherry blossoms, just a nice, another theme that goes well with the koi and the fish, you know, it's kind of an iconic subject matter, particularly in the East. But I wanted to join them up, so I used the kind of petals coming off the flowers and then floating down onto the water, thus creating a kind of a joining between those two scenes and almost giving a slightly mystical look to it. This is a stunning piece of art, um, but it is absolutely meant to be played. And I think that is the, that is why we all do this is we have a passion for music and, and, and the craft and so um, you know to do this guitar justice it would be to play it.